Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've been building this site with the awesome Divi 4 theme. If you want to take Divi 4 for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. What we're going to do today is we're going to add a live Facebook feed to our Divi 4 theme here. This will work for any bootstrap theme also and any WordPress theme that you can add code to. But we're working with the Divi 4 today. So let's get started. So to do this, I'm going to enable the visual builder that will allow us to build on the front end of our site. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work, which is right here. When you've got the builder enabled, the live visual feed, the live Facebook feed is not actually visible here other than that right there. So I'm going to delete that module. And to enable a live Facebook feed on our page, we need to go to this page to get the code developers at facebook.com. And I'll put this link below the video for anybody that wants to do this. And simply put in the page URL that you want to include on your site here. Now width wise, it can be a max of 500, but I've got mine checked adapt to plugin container width. So it'll fill up to 500 pixels of whatever container you've got it in. Height wise, if you leave it as it is, it's going to be this high. You can set up a, a huge height if you want to. Let's try it. There we go. You've got it 1500 picks wide. So you could have that down the sidebar of one of your pages if you wanted to. I'm going to leave that for the time being just like that. You've got choices underneath to use a small header or the regular header. And there's the regular one. Small one just obviously makes it a bit smaller. Uh, we, we are adapting to container width. Hide the cover photo. You can get rid of that completely if you want to. So it just has that. Um, I think I'll leave mine like that. But you can also decide to show or hide your friends faces there don't particularly want those on there but I will leave that on there so that's fine and once you're happy with what you've got going on there let's go down and get code little button on the bottom there and it's important we need to insert both these pieces of code but we can do it all in one code box it seems to work absolutely fine so before we copy this let's go back to our site I'm going to add a code module a little dark button to add a module and I want code, there's code. You can do this with a text module also in um, code version, but we've got an actual code module here, which is absolutely fine. And this is where we need to put our code, funnily enough, in the box that says code. So let's go back, let's top, copy that top bit, making sure not to clip off any of the tags there. You wanna make sure you get everything. Control C to copy. And in here, Control V to paste, and we've pasted it in there. I'm going to just drop down a line, hit return, go back, and grab that next piece of code there also. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Like I said earlier, we'll just hit the save button, and you won't see anything there other than what, what you've got there, the little title. So if we now exit our visual builder, a little purple button, save our page changes. Once saved, let's exit the visual builder. Go down to where we were. And there it is right there. Okay, that's fine. It's working. It does everything I want it to do. If I click on one of these, it'll probably take me to that YouTube video. Yep, that's exactly where it's taken me. And the only other thing I'd like to do, I've got it part of a, a three column row here, slightly too long. I'd like to take it up, take it down by, well, almost 100 pixels, I guess. So I'm guessing this is sort of one, two, three, four, maybe four and a half, 500 pixels. So let's try 
500 and see if that makes any difference. We should be able to see it on the actual page itself. Now here we are, let's put in 500. Because so if we look at this on our page, I basically want it to cut off just below the like, comment and share button. So it's around here. I guess we could have the top of that in there. So we should be able to do it by eye on this by cutting it back to there. Let's try 500, that may be not enough. Cut back. Yeah, it's still too much. Let's try 450. That's pretty much exactly it. That might be slightly too short, but it's got it just cutting off after the like, comment, share there. Now, if we get our code again, we don't have to repaste the whole thing, but if we just look at this second one here, it's got data height 450. So all we need to do is put that in our one that we've got. So if we go back in here, we'll enable the visual builder again. And go down to the section we're working on. Little white cog to edit the section or the module, I should say. And if we look at our second one here, you can copy it all again if you find this uh, is a bit confusing for you. But on the second line or the third line, we've got data height, which is where we want to put that 450 in between the two inverted commas there, making sure not to cut any of those inverted commas off. So now we've got data height 450, and that's 450 pixels, but you don't have to put it in the PX. Let's save that and see what we've got. Exit the visual builder. Go down to where we want to be. And there it is. That is just about right for me. Obviously, you need to do it the way you need to do it. Just remember, you can't go more than 500 pixels. But like I say, if you've got a nice sidebar going on, you could fill the whole sidebar with this because lengthwise you can have it as long or as, or as short as you want. So there you have it. That is how to add a live Facebook feed to your Divi 4 WordPress theme. And like I say, that'll work with Bootstrap, it'll work with any WordPress theme that allows you to put code in, or you can just use a text module in the code with the code tab. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.